I'm Claire from Creative The Otter Way. I'm an independent demonstrator for stamping up in the UK. Thank you for joining me today. Um, I'm here to share with you some ideas and inspiration for your paper crafting projects. Um, I try and keep my videos fairly um, easy to follow along to, um, just because I like to watch videos myself that just get to the point and are not too complicated. Um, I usually use Stampin' Up! products um, as a Stampin' Up! demo, it makes sense, but more than that just purely because I love the products um, and the coordination, they are second to none. Stampin' Up! just match everything effortlessly, so it just gives your projects a bit more of a, of a wow without you even trying. Um, I'll share lots of tips throughout the video, so you might want to jot those down. And I'll really just try and help you get the best value from your stash. You can shop with me online at creativetheotterway.co.uk or sign up for my newsletter there, which will keep you up to date with all the Stampin' Up! offers, but also all my crafty goings on. Um, I do events and workshops and virtual workshops and kits and all sorts. Um, I'm a bit craft obsessed, you see. So what have I got for you today? Um, I'm just going to quickly share the paper I'm using. It is on page 129 of the catalogue. Um, there's sort of like a bigger version of it there, which they've very artistically done in squares. Um, we're using a pack that has lots of those papers in. So if you go to the next page down the bottom here, you almost miss it. Um, it's called Delightfully Eclectic. They're 12 by 12 pages, which is a bonus because perfect for scrapbooking as well. Um, lots of beautiful colours in them. They list the colours that are underneath. So you can see if it goes with a um, card that you've already got in your stash. Um, and you get 48 sheets. 48. And just remember they are double sided. So just a quick flick through of what they are. Lovely swans, black and white on the background, um, lovely tulips, really like that blue colour on there with that on the background, um, stripy pink, florally pink, can't have a set without some pink in, that colour, lovely stripe, stripes there, perfect for any of your pride makes. Um, some alphabets. Now, if you're really not that great with uh, stamping the alphabet or you just don't have alphabet stamps, you could use this and do lots of sayings just cutting out the squares. So that is a real greasy bonus. Um, you have got some hearts on the back. What else have we got? Oh, these, these are really good because it looks like a, a jotter page. Cut those up and use those for different things. Flowers, lemons. Um, and beautiful daisies. Honestly, the list goes on and on. Some more journaling pages and some stripes, some checks, some more flats. Oh, that's really lovely. I've only just really seen that. Mm. Now, oh, now I'm debating whether to swap the paper I've got today. No, let's stick with it. Strawberries, diamonds that are pink. Um, that looks like Mr. Tumble's bag. If you're in the UK and you know about Mr. Tumble, there's some more flowers there. That's just giving me an idea about Mr. Tumble card. Ooh, um, just loads, loads of it. See, every time I look through it, I get a different inspiration. So I really must start jotting these down because when I come to them make a card, I think, what was it? So anyway, loads of papers in there, 48 sheets. Imagine if you cut those into four six by six pages each sheet. I can't even work out the maths. Amazing value. So what are we going to make today? Um, we are going to make something a little bit different. We're going to make a gift box. Um, I let me show you it so let me move that out of the way so it's actually like a suitcase okay so it's like that um, and you open it up it's an actual gift book box so absolutely brilliant now you can see that the DSP is just the wraparound this is from the gone fishing set but I wanted it to look suitcasey and I've used these dies which are the tape 
tailor-made tag dies. Um, why have I used them? Because they've got stitch detail. I love a bit of stitch detail. But also it's got these little tiny pieces here. I don't know if you can see them. So those, and they just add to your tags. So I'm a little bit obsessed with those as well. And there's two designs. So if I show you it on my hand rather than in the paper. So this one is shaped at the top. And then these set of layering ones are more square. So can you see that? Absolutely perfect. That is definitely a value set that you need in your stash because you will be using it over and over again. And you get four sizes for each one. That is called the Tailor Made Tag Dies. Um, just to show you what they look like in person, as it were. And then the little detail bits oh let me take that middle bit out I like that so if you do it contrast so I'm going to do white probably too far over for the camera it's oh that way around look at that already it just layers it up and also top tip what I do is I die cut these pieces so let me get that back in um, so it's like that I die cut that piece on some card that's got the adhesive sheets. Um, so Stampin' Up sell these sheets called adhesive sheets. Uh, she sheeps. N at least I didn't swear. Sheeps. Uh, sheets <laughs> that you put onto your card. There is another video for that. And it um, turns your card into stickers. So when you die cut, instead of having to fiddle with glue, let me show you quickly now. So you just peel it off like that. And that side is sticky so now all I have to do is line that up like so Ta -da! done okay so there's that one let's do the white one while we're here so the white one just to contrast and it's like that you've got this little tiny piece here I just peel it off and okay it is a little bit fiddly but do you know what? The detail that it adds to your card making or crafting is just brilliant. It just takes your ordinary tag to a new level. And look at that already. Just looks so much better, doesn't it? And you can just layer them up or do what you want to do with that. I, I really need to make those for Christmas and just put them to one side. And then you could just stamp on them and they're done. So that's given you a hint of the colours that we are using today. So the box, it's just two boxes like that. One is slightly bigger so it overlaps and then that just tucks inside. So, look, come on, you know you fit inside. Don't do it when I'm on camera. Ta -da! Okay, so this box size, wow, you can fit loads in there. If you um, fold a pair of socks up really nice and snug, that will fit in there. And how amazing, you're just given a pair of socks, but it looks really wow. So anything like that, you can turn something that doesn't cost very much into the most amazing gift, just by boxing it. Okay, let's move these bits out of the way so I don't lose those. So that's my details. That's where you can shop with me and stay in touch. Now let me swap that for what you're going to need today. So I've just called it a suitcase gift box. Um, just because it looks like a suitcase really. You need two pieces of your base colour card. So whatever card you're doing, you're going to need one A4 sheet. And we more or less cut that in half. And that will give you these two. Now, first time ever, I've given you inches and centimetre sizes. So fingers crossed that now fits everybody that's watching. Um, a great debate go, always goes on. Do we do imperial or do we do metric? So I'm going to try, try really hard to do both. Um, just so that everyone can get a go. When I'm actually talking, I'm just going to use one of the... Um, sizes it probably be centimeters today just to try and get me into the hang of it but you can see it's six and seven eighths or 17 and a half centimeters so they're the sizes so two base cards the wraparound designer series paper and then a handle and that's it apart from you need a circle punch one and a half inches is this one 
a circle punch just to do some circles out of your card as well. So I'm going to leave that there. I'm just going to move a few bits because I can feel things slipping and sliding. I don't want it to come across the screen. So out of that lovely, lovely pack of paper that I've just shown you, um, I am going to use this. Hence my hesitation when I saw the nice navy one because I like this but it's quite white and sometimes when you're doing um, white background designer series paper they don't stand the test of time because they get a bit grubby on the edges but if you use a dark colour top tip it lasts much longer and looks good for much longer so um, again when you're doing gift boxes that are made out of white card they sort of age quicker than if you'd made them out of navy or a, a blue colour or something. So this is one of the papers. The other side is the stripe. I did debate using the stripe, but I actually think I'm going to use the floral. So I've picked out one of the colours. Remember Stampin' Up! show you what colours are in the paper. And I've gone for garden green. Um, I did think about doing it the pink or the red. Um, really debated about the red but I think I'm going to go with the garden green so let me move that out the way again and I will stop talking and get to the make so they're all the sizes just going to move that hopefully you screenshot that or and we will get crafting so remember I said you will need an A4 piece of card okay and I need two pieces from this. So I know that this side here is quite long. So I'm going to turn it so that my A4 sheet has got the longest side at the top. And remember, I'm going to do this in centimetres. So for all you inches, people, go back to the screenshot the first bit and then you'll be fine. So, uh, now I need to get my brain in gear for centimetres. So, 14 and a half centimetres. So, I've got the long piece at the top and I'm going to cut off at 14 and a half centimetres. I'm going to put that bit to the other side because I will need that in a moment. I'm going to spin it round that way. So, the longest bit is now at the top. And this needs to be 17 and a half centimetres. Honestly, this make is really easy. Now, I can't remember. I think that might be enough for the handle. So put that to one side. You might need that again. Then all you're going to do now is do a score line on all four sides. And this needs to be at three centimetres. Now, luckily, the three centimetres can be seen here. So I can just slide it along to three centimetres. Please, please move that cutting blade out the way because honestly when I was practicing this every time I cut it off so three centimeters score line on one two three oh, and four sides okay and I'm going to put that to one side because I'm going to cut the two together. So that's my first bit. Okay, I'm going to bring in the other half that I did. Now this is only a fraction larger. So this needs to be 14.8. So again, put this uh, shorter end at the top. And we're talking in centimetres. So it's 14.8. So there's really such a small sliver to cut off. Can you see that? Look, hardly anything. And I'm not going to keep that. I'm going to get rid of that straight away. 14.8 centimetres. So this needs to be 17.8 centimetres. And that's a little bit more that comes off. Again, I'm going to put that to one side because I can't remember which one fits the handle. And then I'm going to do the same, exactly the same. Three centimetres score on every single side. So get that cutting blade out of the way. Score on one side, spin it. Oh. 
ball on that side. I always doubt myself at this side because I think, is that, that looks really big. Is that really where it's meant to be? Three centimetres? Okay, so that's on all four sides. So we're going to move our paper trimmer out of the way. Um, I like to use a big pair of scissors um, just because it's easier to see what you're doing when you're trying to do a box. And we're going to turn both of these pieces into the, the boxes or the drawer that goes inside. So I don't know if you can see, let's burnish them all just by folding them that way. Okay, just doing it that way so you can see. So you end up with a square on each corner. And we're going to turn that into a tab, okay? So, uh, let me check you can see. So where that score line is, just pick one corner and go up to that score. So can you see it there? And then I'm just going to cut in a tiny triangle. If you've watched my videos before, we've done this loads. And it's just like that. So you're just cutting out that tiny sliver. I'll flip it over and cut a tiny sliver again. So now you can see that that piece has come from there. And then that piece has come from there. That's it. That's how to make a tab. So we've done this one. So we're going to turn it round. And we're now going to do this one. And I like to do this because on each corner just turn it because it just gives a nicer shaped box you could miss out cutting these triangles okay but you might get edges that overhang um, I'll show you when we get to the point so I've done this one done this one move those out of the way spin it round and do this one and you're going to do this on both boxes and then we put it together. Okay, try not to cut too much in. And what you're trying to do is not pull and rip the paper, just move it out of the way. Because if, um, if you don't cut up to the line and you pull it, you end up tearing your card. And then that doesn't give you a nice corner. Right, there's one more. So we've done one, two, three, and this one now. I feel like I've turned it over and I didn't need to. So there's that one. So this is this one. Come on. And then, I'm sorry if I'm confusing you by flipping it over, but I've worked out top tip that if you cut away from the box you get a nicer straighter edge rather than trying to cut into because you end up cutting what I mean is you end up cutting right into the side as well as here if you do it this way round where that score line is put your scissors on the score line and cut then you know you're not going to cut into the side so if I just show you this and then we'll cut the other one so you should end up with this. So you've got your four tabs and your four sides, okay? So if I lay them down, you can see, and they just fold over like that. So let me bring the other one in and we'll do that at the same time because this will come together really easily and you'll be so glad that you made it. Um, this one's going to be a little bit more girly or for somebody who likes flowers um, I really like flowers I like them a lot um, right lost my place stop talking Claire so if I do turn it over that one it doesn't matter if you go wrong and you do them both go in the same way I just feel like it gives well I know it gives a nicer shape to your box a better rectangle that one I just need to remember to turn it back over so again I am just doing each square to make a tab so while you're watching this paint dry <laughs> 
Okay, what can I talk about? What has been going on in your life? That created the Ottaway. We have just had a weekend away for our 30th wedding anniversary. Oh my goodness, 30. Honestly, don't know where that time has gone. Um, and I know it's a cliche, but I think we're more together now than we've ever been. Just because we've got more patience with each other. Um, more time for each other. The kids have left home. Yeah, that's another story. Okay, so here's these bits. And I get to craft more, which is even better. So that's the same. That's my two boxes. You can see they're more or less the same. Now, how do we go about putting them together? So fold all the sides in and just make sure you've got a really nice sharp box. Okay, just like this. Oh, goodness me, this is my really old bone folder. Looking a bit rough. I need to invest in a new one. Do you have that? Do you have favourite tools or things that you've had like forever? They're looking a bit battered and bruised, but you still love them. Okay, so the sides were all ready to be a box. I am actually going to glue, put glue on all of my tabs at once. Honestly, it's easier. So, put some glue on my tab. Now, I've angled my glue so it doesn't come pouring out. Um, and what I do with my glue is run it over the card. If you hold it in the air and blob it on, you end up with loads of glue and you really don't want that on your box because it will just make your box really, really sticky and you'll have glue where you don't want it. So I'm barely squeezing, um, but because it's a new bottle, it's fairly easily running out. So glue on all four sides, but I'm concentrating on one side at a time. So I bring that up to the corner and make sure I've got a really nice sharp corner and just press my fingers on the inside there. So I've got a really tight corner. You really don't have to hold Tumbo glue for long. And it sticks. And I do that and I don't have to worry about getting the glue and which bit has it got to go on because I've already glued. I just need to press them in place. So that's got a nice straight edge. Move that round to do that. And can you see, I'll show you, I'll just do the last one. Remember I said about slightly angling your tab? That is so that you get that nice edge. Now if you don't angle your tab, sometimes it goes outwards. So it ends up like that. And then you have to go around and trim them. But if you angle your tabs, you end up with that. Look, nicely shaped box. Right, let's do this one, the same. So we're gonna put some glue on all four sides just there and there I really like this garden green if you've got a favorite color stamping up color I'm really partial to greens and blues um, I think look, I've got green on today I usually wear green or blue I wonder what that says about me I need to look that up I'm earthy does that what it means <laughs> I don't know. Oh, put my finger on the glue. Right. Maybe it means I like to blend in rather than stick out. Answers on a postcard. Okay. There's one corner. Doing exactly the same as what we did just now. And then we're going to have a really nice box. That one. The last one yeah look at that really nice clear shaped box now if you wanted to make your box stronger you could add another layer of cards so instead of just going um, you'd need to make your box f another three centimeters wider all round and then you would fold that in to that and it would make a really strong box I think <coughs> When we did the um, multi-purpose box the other week, that was like a double fold. Right, let's check. So that one fits inside that one. Ta-da! Job done. Okay, 
let's get to the designer series paper. Okay. <coughs> so this obviously is a 12 by 12 piece and we need to cut this at 11 and a half centimetres. So this doesn't matter which way round it goes, okay? So I haven't got to worry about the directional. And I did that on purpose because otherwise you get one side that's up the right way and one side that looks upside down. So I've deliberately picked some paper. So whichever way you look at my box, you can see it and it looks beautiful. So 11 and a half centimetres. I'm just going to cut off the whole strip of that at the moment. So you've got loads left. You could do all sorts with that. And then I'm going to open my paper trimmer out because I need it at 26 centimetres. So it feels like a really long piece. And again, there's a nice piece there that you could use for the tag if you wanted. And then we need to do lots of scoring. So again, I'm going to do this in centimetres. At the end of the video, I'll put the sizes back again so you can take a screenshot. Um, so in centimetres, it's three centimetres and we're scoring. I'm actually going to turn it over so the score is on the other side so it will fold really nicely. Get that cutting blade out of the way. Three centimetres and then I think it's 12. Let's have a look. 12 centimetres. 15 centimetres. And 24 centimetres. Okay, let's bring that back in. So, the reason I scored it that way is so it would have a nice fold that way. Now, this is not tight, so it doesn't grip your box and not be able to move because you need to be able to slide it on and off. So I'm just going to put my box inside and I'm just going to make sure it's not too loose. Okay, so before I glue anything in place, no, nope, that's perfect. What is that bit there? Look at that. I don't know what that is, but that can come off. Might have that and it just fits across. So you've got a tiny little edge either side just to finish it. So that looks about right. So I'm going to put some glue, I'm leaving it wrapped around and I'm going to put some glue on this bit. So you could use this gift box for somebody who's going traveling, retiring, um, new baby's little suitcase, all sorts of things. Um, there you go just as a nice gift so that's just a pretty box with a paper band around it really job done you could decorate that you could leave it as it is decorate with some flowers or a label on the top and that would be it to carry it on to make um, the suitcase what we need to do is do the circles so we need four circles that are I think they're one and a half Half. So I've got a one and a half inch punch from Stampin' Up. Let me tell you what that is in centimetres. So one and a half is 3.8 centimetres. But it says one and a half, so I'm going to say that. And we need four circles. So one. Oh, goodness me, that's really stiff. And loud. Love to cover your ears. One more. There you go. And then what we're going to do is cut them in half. So you can either do that by eye, which I think is fine. Cut them exactly in half. It doesn't matter. I'm going to cut on that bit because that bit's. Oh, look. Don't quite get that. Okay. And the last one, like so. Now each of these circles need to be folded in half. So just like so. 
you can do this on your board if you want to but it's just as easy to do it with your fingers um, it depends if you've got arthritis and it, you struggle to do that do it on your scoring board um, oh, look, it's a little notch as well I think I need to sharpen my punch that just goes there another one nearly that How many more? Two more. The detail that this adds to your suitcase is just amazing. Um, I'm constantly amazed what you can do with a bit of cards and ink and glue. You can go from just flat card to the most beautiful creations. So it doesn't matter which side you start, just pick a side, put some glue on your half circle and then just put it on the edge of the paper and try and do it so it's right at the edge of the paper. You can't see the paper at all. Okay, and that's that. And just repeat that on every corner. Um, let's do it this way around. Like so. And like I say, because it's tumbo couple of seconds and it's done. When you get to do work two on there, just overlap them. It will all look fine, I promise. Okay, like that. And then the next one. Can't wait to show you. Oh, this one is that way around. So we've completely done one side. I'm just going to hold that on for a minute and just show you the difference. So that's what it looks like with the suitcase corners and that's what it looks like without. Doesn't it look amazing? The fact that it's just half a circle. Only three more, and then we get to do the handle. Just do that one. Okay. And this one. Ta -da. I don't know what the weather's like with you. I'm going to resort to talking about the weather now. I am English, British, whatever you want to call it. I'm actually half Welsh. Um, my dad is born and bred in Wales. I'm very proud of it. But yeah, the weather, the weather, oh my goodness, the weather. I live on the marshes and it's always windy, even on the sunniest of days. But at the moment, oh, Boy, is it windy. Okay, there's that. I did a little video to my craft VIP group this morning of me at the beach. You could barely hear me because the wind was so strong. So, which is the bottom? That's the bottom because it's got a join. That is our box. Now, how do we do a handle? Remember, we needed to do a handle. It's got to be 15 centimetres. So, <gasps> That is amazing. Ta, 15 centimetres. Is it four centimetres wide? No, not so amazing. So it needs to be four centimetres wide. Cut that bit first by 15. Okay. So four centimetres by 15 and score it in half. Okay, so score it in half and then either end, what did I do? Was it half a centimetre? Mm, I feel like it was. Let me double check. Oh, it was two centimetres. Half a centimetre. So then you score two centimetres and four centimetres. I'll recap for you. Hang on, 
let's do it two centimeters and four centimeters okay so it's 15 centimeters was it 15 yeah 15 centimeters by four and then we scored it in half at two centimeters that gives us that and we're just gonna let's move this that way we're just gonna glue that in half or fold it in half and glue it getting excited now because we're right near the end are you like that with your crafty projects so excited to share okay so there you go then we scored it at two centimeters and four centimeters on both ends so we're going to fold that one over and fold that one over Ooh. so that gives you the handle like so like that and then we're going to fold it back like that so you end up with that and just firm all of that down make sure it's really set and you end up with that handle bring this back in and do one side at a time okay and this is going over your two circles just at the end of your dsp so when you slide your dsp off your handle is attached so just hold that in place just make sure it's lined up and when you're happy that that's glued put some glue on this side and do the same to this side okay and then we're ready to do our tag so that's going to go there okay so just make sure that that is like that that's our suitcase nearly done okay so you end up with a suitcase like so then if I bring those tags back in that one I'm just going to leave like that this one I would like a thank you on it. so I have used the thank you from this because I think it looks tag like so it's the grassy grove set I'm going to try, oh, I just remembered I haven't got the green. Oh, goodness me. Did you even notice that I'd gone? <laughs> okay garden green just got this massive block as well so that's not great okay tap tap see if i can get this straight oh i wobbled a bit oh there you go that will do and i'm gonna use some of this twine so i love this twine and um, i bought it to go with the fishing set and you get all these colours, look. Isn't it amazing? And you can unthread it and do all sorts, but I'm going to use it because I think it will stand out on this suitcase. So the first thing I'm going to do is thread it through both. So I'm not sure how long I need it. Like so. Like that. quite long because I thought I want to put a bow in it as well I can't add to it but I can take it down so let's do it so I want to cut a tie knot in it oh let's hope I've put enough on there now so that's I've just done just a normal knot there and I'm gonna I'm gonna put it like that so I need some dimensional dimensionals where are you okay, they are here somewhere um, 
so that's going to be stuck on there like that and then I'm going to put dimension on the back of that and that will be done let me have one quick look Then. So I'm just going to put one on there because I just want to hold it in place like so and I'm going to put one on there because I just want to hold that in place and that is just going to go like that and then what I will do with this other bit is I will do a teeny tiny little bow just to finish it off. I might change that string to a longer piece there okay so let's put my handle back so you've got a beautiful floral one and then we've got the lovely check one and that will just slide off oh, get a hold of it like so just to put your gift in how lovely is that? So I can see making mini suitcases, bigger suitcases. I don't know how much bigger you could do it um, because of the 12 by 12 paper, but you could do it slightly bigger. But look at that, so easy to do and so effective. Ta-da! Thank you for watching. If you have loved this craft along, Come and join me and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can shop for Stampin' Up! products with me if you're in the UK or Northern Ireland at creativelotway.co.uk. If you are anywhere else in the world, please just look up your local Stampin' Up! demonstrator. They will have lots to offer you. Um, maybe even in-person classes or virtual. And your life will be all the better for it. Thanks for watching. Bye!